What's up, everybody? Today is April 14th of 2022. In this video, we're going to talk about the death of comedian and actor Gilbert Gottfried, who reportedly passed away two days ago, April 12th, after what is being called a long illness, something related to a heart condition he had, resulting in his death at the relatively young age of 67. So in this video, we're going to talk about a number of topics, mainly astrology and numerology. Now here on this channel, we talk about the language of gamatria or gematria, a very important component of numerology, which creates a uh, numeric pattern behind the alphabet with each letter, as you see on the screen, translated into a number. So for starters, we're going to talk about what was happening in the sky on the date that Gilbert Gottfried died. So here on the left side of your screen is a look at the astrology chart from the morning of April 12th, Tuesday, when Gilbert Gottfried's death was first hitting the media. Now, as with any astrology chart, there's a lot of things to look at here, a lot of comparisons to make. But to the trained eye, you'll see one notable conjunction that's relatively rare. Notice how this same line right here represents two different planets. The symbol for Neptune on the left, the symbol for Jupiter on the right, both with the exact same coordinates in the sky in the sign of Pisces. Now, when we're talking about Pisces, it's important to understand that there are two planets that rule Pisces. Traditionally, it was Jupiter, and in modern astrology, it's Neptune. So the two planets that rule the sign of Pisces were coming conjunct in Pisces, and this is a conjunction that only happens roughly once every 13 years or so. You'll see we didn't have one until, or since 2009. There won't be another one until 2035. And occasionally we have two or three in a year. This is when there's a retrograde. But normally this happens once every 13 years. So for this to, to occur in Pisces, the sign that both of these planets rule is even more uncommon. You know, now we're talking about something like 150 years. Well, if you look at the planet Neptune and read a little bit about it, we come to learn that the astronomer who first observed Neptune through a telescope was named Johann Gale. And would you believe that Johann Gale's middle name is Gottfried? The same name that Gilbert has as his surname, Gottfried. What are the odds of this? Well, of course, the odds are very low. And this is the kind of thing we do on this channel. Let's talk about amazing coincidences that are playing out through the media. So let's take a little bit of a deeper dive here and talk about more astrology that's connected with this man, particularly the total solar eclipse code. Now, before I get into the synchronicities here, I want to quick show you a video that I found of Bob Saget making a joke at Gilbert Gottfried at the Bob Saget roast back in 2008. And uh, hear him out here. Gilbert. Gilbert. Why are you always squinting? Seriously, it's, it's like you're staring at an eclipse. So you tell me, was that joke meant to be funny? Because it didn't really seem very funny. Um, but what I think is that this is the, the, uh, the elites, these comedians, cluing us into what's really happening. And just as Bob Saget did, Gilbert Gottfried died by this total solar eclipse code. Now, before we talk about the numerology, I want to talk a little bit about the synchronicity involved here. Gilbert Gottfried was born in and died in Brooklyn, New York. Now, they've since updated his Wikipedia page to say New York City, but it was the borough of Brooklyn where he lived. And the same day that Gilbert Gottfried died, there was a mass shooting in Brooklyn at a subway. And this happened on a train and then finished in a train station, I guess. And whether or not that shooting is real, of course, there's a lot to be unraveled there. 
I would call this definitely another false flag shooting. And it was conveniently timed to happen just one day after Joe Biden came out and said, we need more gun control measures in this country. No coincidence there either. Now, furthermore, the borough of Brooklyn is where the NBA playoffs started on April 12th, the same day that Gilbert Gottfried died. Now, what makes that especially interesting is that the Brooklyn Nets have a player named Kyrie Irving, who has been very controversial this season because Kyrie Irving was vocal against the CV19 VAXX. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. And as a result of this, he was unable to play home games in Brooklyn for a number of months. And this finally expired late last month. So now Kyrie is back playing home games in Brooklyn right before the playoffs. And meanwhile, Gilbert Gottfried was someone who was promoting the VAXX to his audience. He was talking about pop-up clinics that were administering the treatment. And he himself admitted that he had gotten three jabs. So there's a lot of people speculating that that had something to do with his death. Of course, on this channel, we always talk about the deeper riddles that lie underneath. And the reason this all connects to the Eclipse Code is because... This VAXX, quote-unquote, treatment was initially approved for emergency authorization on December 14th. And actually, we're looking at 2021. They must have had an update on the anniversary because it was actually 2020 when they first made this approval. So here's the right page. December 14th, 2020, announcing that emergency usage authorization was approved. Well, back on that same day, there was a total solar eclipse. Of course, this is a relatively rare event, occurring about seven times per decade. And this total solar eclipse was over Argentina, Pope Francis's home. Of course, I've been talking a lot about how the coronavirus was an eclipse ritual because the corona of the sun, its atmosphere, which you see in this picture, only visible during a total solar eclipse. And this eclipse was halfway, exactly, between the two great American total solar eclipses. So, bear with me a second while I pull up a picture of this. The two twin eclipses here, creating an X over the United States. One more synchronistic element to this story is that back in 2019, I made a post about actor Godfrey Gao, who mysteriously died of a heart condition, just like Gilbert Gottfried, during the filming of a TV show called Chase Me. And in this post, I noted how similar the name Godfrey was to Gottfried. And as it turns out, Gilbert Gottfried was exactly 777 months old when Godfrey Gao died. And seven is a very significant number to this because look at his initials, Gilbert Gottfried, Godfrey Gao, all of this with G. So we're being told that Gilbert Gottfried died after a long illness. Well, as we just saw, his death was actually connected to this conjunction. So what are the odds, guys, that long illness sums to 138, 148, 159, and 160? The same as conjunction in the base four ciphers. The same exact numbers. Now, Gilbert Gottfried and Bob Saget were connected further than just this roast from back in 2008. They both were in a film called The Aristocrats in 2005 and comedians who were often seen together. Gilbert Gottfried died 93 days after Bob Saget. And the name Gilbert Gottfried equals 93 in our reverse reduction method. Now, the number 93 is, of course, significant to the sun, which is an average of 93 million miles away from Earth. Now, we're going to talk about how this is all connected to this eclipse code. And really, the most significant two-digit eclipse number is 33. The word eclipse sums to 33 in reduction. Not only did he die 93 days after Bob Saget, 
but it also came out to exactly three months and three days. On top of that, Gottfried's death fell 330 days after Bob Saget's birthday, which was back on May 17th. Kyrie Irving, this player on the Nets, the city that Gilbert died in, he was exactly 30 years and three weeks old on that date. And on April 12th, when Gilbert died, the Brooklyn Nets played against the Cleveland Cavaliers. And Cleveland is the largest city in the United States that sits in the path of totality of the next great American eclipse. In the standard reduction method, Cleveland also equals 33. The subway attack that happened in Brooklyn, also on April 12th, it was reported that the gunman fired exactly 33 shots which is an amazing detail to know exactly. But this is what happens in fake news stories on the regular. So we looked at the Gematria of Eclipse 33, but what we're going to take a look at here is how the phrase total solar eclipse was coded all five ciphers into the death of Gilbert Gottfried. For starters, we're going to go to reverse reduction with the 104, total solar eclipse summing to 104. The name Kyrie Andrew Irving sums to 104 in full reduction, which this is all connected to. Measuring from Gilbert Gottfried's death to this second great American eclipse, which goes over Cleveland, gives us exactly 104 weeks with the end date included. The name Gottfried equals 104 in the alphabetic order, and Gilbert was born on a date with primary numerology of 104. Again, he was born in and died in the city of Brooklyn, which also equals 104 in the reverse alphabetic order. Back in 2017, there was a film about Gilbert Gottfried, a documentary on this comedian, that was released on November 3rd. And this date can be written 11 slash 3. Of course, 11 times 3 is 33. But if you measure from the date that this documentary was released back to the first Great American Total Solar Eclipse, we get 10 weeks and 4 days. And just to go back to this long illness thing, uh, this is what so many news outlets were saying, long illness, long illness, long illness, without really specifying too much. All right, so the phrase total solar eclipse. In standard reduction, this phrase equals 67. Of course, Gilbert Gottfried died at the age of 67. And the 67th prime number is 331. Using capital letters, the name Gilbert Jeremy Gottfried equals 331. So does Gilbert Gottfried Iago, which was the name of the parrot he played in Disney's Aladdin. This 33 months in one day, um, this was a video that Gilbert Gottfried posted back in July of 2019 where he was warning people not to go on the Golden Gate Bridge on August 11th. And for those who were following the work back in 2019, there was a big riddle playing out for August 11th that a lot of people were talking about. And Gilbert Gottfried curiously gave a little nod to the truth community by talking about it. The phrase human sacrifice and blood sacrifice also summed to 67, like total solar eclipse. In Jewish gematria, Iago equals 67, the parrot he played in Aladdin. And Gilbert was vaccinated for COVID-19, which equals 67 in reduction. Now, 67 is the 19th prime number. Of course, this is the number that's in the actual virus, COVID-19. But it's also connected to the death of Godfrey Gao, this actor who died in the year 19. 
And interestingly enough, I talked about the number 19 in this post because he died 19 days after the show he was on debuted. The name Godfrey equals 109. He also died a span of 67 days after his birthday, from September 22nd to November 27th, 67 days, which again is the age that Gilbert Godfrey died at. I also even mentioned the 331. Godfrey Gao died on the 331st day of the year, connecting to the name Gilbert Jeremy Gottfried, the 67th prime number. As for the 19, Gilbert's friend Bob Saget died on January 9th, the date written 1 slash 9, like the number 19. And his name, Bob, equals 19 in ordinal. He hosted America's Funniest Home Videos, which was abbreviated AFHV, which equals 19. 19 is another number connected to this solar eclipse code. Solar eclipse equals 190. In the major arcana, the 19th card is the sun. And Gilbert Gottfried died exactly a span of 109 weeks after the World Health Organization declared a CV-19 pandemic. The number 109 is also a prime number, the 29th. Worth mentioning that we're told 29 people were injured in the shooting in Brooklyn that day. Next, we're going to look at total solar eclipse in reverse. Notice how we get this 257 value. This is the same as blood sacrifice in the same cipher. And the name Bob Saget also equals 257. Measuring from the release of the documentary Gilbert to the date that Gilbert actually died is 1621 days. And 1621 is the 257th prime number. So next we'll look at total solar eclipse in the Jewish method. Notice here we get 704. Well, that's very similar to the name Gilbert Jeremy Gottfried, whose name equals 1704. Gilbert Gottfried got in a lot of hot water back in 2001 because he made 9-11 jokes just a few weeks after the attack in New York City. And if you measure from the 9-11 attacks to the date he died, it was exactly 1,074 weeks, the same four digits in his Jewish or Latin gematria. He even died on April 12th, which equals 174 as well. So what about total solar eclipse in the most basic standard alphabetic order? Well here, total solar eclipse equals 202. And we pointed out this vaccine approval date, December 14th of 2020. So this was in the year 2020, which is the same numbers as total solar eclipse. That eclipse began lunation number 1212. And in Sumerian gematria, which is the alphabetic order times six, total solar eclipse equals 1212. So the 2020 eclipse began lunation 1212. Also, ritual human sacrifice in Jewish ordinal equals 202. All pointing us to the fact that, you know, there was something devious going on here. If you measure from the birthday of Godfrey Gao, September 22nd, to the date that Gilbert Godfrey died, April 12th, you get 202 days. But here's the real kicker. The last total solar eclipse was on December 4th of 2021. This was the last time there was a total solar eclipse on Earth. And think about the date December 4th written 12 slash 4. Well, Gilbert Gottfried died on the 12th of April, which internationally is written 12 slash 4. And measuring from the death of Gottfried Gao 
to the death of Gilbert Gottfried was exactly a span of 124 weeks. Gottfried died on a day with 58 numerology. Godfrey died on the date leaving 58 days in the year. The name Godfrey Gao equals 58. The name Gao also equals 58 in multiple methods. So strong mystical connections here between these two. Now the last number I want to talk about in this video is 223. And this is all tracing back to the sorrow cycle in astronomy. This is the cycle we use to predict the next lunar or solar eclipse. It's a period of exactly 223 lunar phases. In ancient Hebrew, the word the moon sums to 223. In multiple methods, both Latin and prime numbers, the name Gilbert equals 223. The name Gilbert, um, I'm sorry, the city he died in, Brooklyn, New York, equals 223 in the alphabetic order. And his death, as well as the shooting in Brooklyn, New York, was connected to New York Mayor Eric Adams. Notice how the name Eric Adams equals 223. And the shooting was exactly 223 days after Eric Adams' birthday. This wasn't the only crazy thing going on in New York that day. Check out how on April 12th, the same day as all of this, New York's lieutenant governor resigned after he was arrested for a campaign finance scheme gone wrong. And this guy's name is Brian A. Benjamin. And notice how using capital letters, the name Brian A. Benjamin sums to 223. This cipher also based on the alphabetic order, but mixing capital and small letters. This also connects to the name Kyrie the net star who was staunchly anti-vax, the name Kyrie, also with prime number gematria of 223, just like Gilbert. And Kyrie Irving, a few years ago, said that he thinks he believes the Earth is flat. And this was an attempt to make him look stupid, so that when people saw that he wasn't taking the vaccine, they would just say, oh, this is just some idiot, he thinks the Earth is flat, whatever. But this was all part of a larger riddle. Kyrie's last name is Irving. And the man who erroneously brought the idea to the West that Europe used to think the Earth was flat was named Washington Irving. And the name Washington Irving equals 223. And he's credited with promoting the, uh, the false idea of flat Earth theory, 223. So 223 is another prime number, the 48th, and measuring from the death of Gilbert Gottfried to the total solar eclipse over Cleveland, the team that Brooklyn was playing against, it was, well, actually, I screwed that up. Apologies. What we're looking at is this last eclipse, December 4th, right? 12-4, the number we looked at earlier. Measuring from this date, to the date of Gilbert's death was four months and eight days. And Cleveland equals 48. Kind of screwed that up, but now you get it. So, yes, the deep eclipse riddle is there, but really this is all about this, uh, this conjunction with Jupiter and Neptune and how Neptune's discoverer was Gottfried. And again, long illness, conjunction... You know, there you have it. All right, everyone. Peace, love, God bless. Please feel free to smash that like button, share, subscribe. Whatever you can do to help the channel grow, always appreciated. Peace, love, God bless, and we'll talk to you next time. See ya.